Hi, I'm Mary Jo Hutchinson, and I am the K-12 Supervisor for Mathematics for Delran Schools and Co-Coordinator of STEM Programming. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And sometimes you'll hear it referred to as STEAM, which adds the A and explicitly includes the arts, but we know in Delran STEM that the arts are always included. If we call it STEM or STEAM, the arts are in, an integral part of STEM education. And in our STEM programming, one of our premier programs is our STEAM camp that we run every summer here in the state-of-the-art labs here at Delran High School. And the program is offered for students uh, entering grades two through 12. Um, for the elementary program, we have a mixture of coding and robotics activities in the morning and a variety of different STEM and engineering challenges for the afternoon time. It's really a great program and it allows kids to get an early STEM experience that helps them see themselves as engineers and identify as STEM people. It's still an amazing experience because they really get to see themselves as problem solvers and rising to challenges and that helps lead to becoming STEM literate citizens when they grow up. My name is Timothy Pilla. I'm a ninth grade environmental science teacher here at Delran High School. This summer at the STEAM camp, it's the first time we have second graders, and I am teaching the engineering portion in the afternoons for the second grade here. So the goals of this program really, especially with the second graders, the youngest that we have, is to really teach them that the only way to really figure out a problem or to solve a problem in life, any problem that may be, is to use a series of steps to have a plan on how to solve uh, the issue. So I think that this program is great because the young ones always want to be right and think they have the best idea, but it's teaching them how to actually solve problems and not be afraid to try new things and to maybe make mistakes and then fix those mistakes until they eventually get to the right answer. Uh, this week we're working on building structures. The theme is that there is a dog Penny who needs to be blocked from the hot summer sun and so the students are trying to build different shapes and types with different materials of roofs that can block the sun, withstand the wind, and resist the rain or be waterproof. So all week we've been testing materials in different scenarios, getting them wet, putting them in wind situations, building them, trying them out with a light station that we set up, and then eventually their final products, testing them again, seeing where the fail points are, and then rebuilding them until they're set and done and successful. My name is Alex Legay and I am one of the STEAM camp teachers here at Delran High School. The students in the morning session are exposed to a variety of activities and one of those activities is the coding of the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 robot. Students use code and block coding to program the robot to do different tasks, moving forward and backward, making turns, making sounds, making displays, and then students use this knowledge to solve a variety of different obstacle courses that require the students to use problem solving, collaboration, trial and error to make their robot successfully complete these obstacle courses. And then at the end of the week, students have an opportunity to apply these skills and show what they've learned to create an obstacle course of their own that they can then trade with a partner and they can take turns solving each other's obstacle courses. Hi, I'm Mrs. Perino. I am one of the STEAM Camp teachers at Delran STEAM Camp. In our coding and robotics room, we work on a variety of different activities to help kids get ready for the real world and to help them with being prepared for school and sports and all different activities that they participate in. While we're working on our Ozobots, we start with simple codes using the black line to get the kids, uh, to get the Ozobot moving and then as they learn more about how the Ozobot works, they get to get creative. There's a lot of trial and error and perseverance because sometimes the Ozobot doesn't move the way we want it to. When we go over to Code Monkey, we are on an exploration independently through coding. Every level allows the kids to learn how to do something simple, then the next level they have to apply what they've learned in a previous level without the hints. So that is building skills upon itself that they can use in the real world. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Julie Ragnoli and I'm one of the fourth grade teachers at DIS and I'm also one of the STEAM Camp and Robotics coaches. Uh, some of my responsibilities here at STEAM Camp are to uh, work with the incoming fifth graders during the STEAM Camp units as well as the robotics sessions. Some of the gains for the students this year is to problem solve and create and design and test out materials and then redesign if necessary to make the best efficient product for our unit. One of the stations during robotics is the snap circuit session and that's where students can learn all about electricity and circuits and what makes um, electricity work. One of the other stations during robotics is the students have choice to build with different kinds of materials that are not related to coding. I'm Jackie Carey. Um, during the regular school year, I teach math at the high school. And for the STEAM camp, I am the lead teacher. And I also teach the incoming sixth graders for the engineering program. And I work with all of the age groups for the robotics and coding session. In our robotics and coding session, we work with the LEGO We Do Robots, which is a brand new robot that LEGO has put out. It's really neat because it's Bluetooth capable with any kind of Chromebook or mobile device like an iPad or a cell phone. Another station that we have in our robotics and coding session is JustGoingToCode.org, which is on a Chromebook and it's actually a free website that anyone can go to. Alright, so my name is uh, Sean Deloche. I am a mathematics teacher at the high school here. I'm also the uh, co-manager for the Digital Fabrication Lab, our Fab Lab. Uh, so for these last couple of weeks, we've been working with uh, middle school and high school kids, showing them how to use CAD design uh, to create various uh, items, whether it be on the laser engraver, uh, the vinyl cutter for stickers, uh, the 3D printers, Pretty much anything that you could think of, we can pretty much make down here. And the goal is to try to get the kids to understand that while, yes, like traditionally you'd make things with your hands now, instead of taking all that effort and having to do things by hand, like wood shop or anything like that, we can do it uh, by designing it in the computer and then have the machine uh, cut it out at much more precise uh, measurements than we would do by hand. Hi, I'm Erica D. Michelle. I'm a K-12 supervisor for science, technology, engineering, and sustainability. And myself and Mary Jo Hutchinson, we are co-leaders for the Dalran STEM Ecosystem Alliance. And basically what that means is that we are a partnership, um, the school district being the lead in collaboration with outside organizations like Radwell International, Schneider Electric, Lockheed Martin, our Delran Education Foundation, the PTA, Delran Municipal Green Team, and also to provide STEM for all. That's a big goal of the Delran STEM Ecosystem Alliance in our schools, is that students who might not ordinarily have access to a program like this get that opportunity. So we offer scholarships and free busing for students in Delran. And those are some of those um, uh, things that sometimes limit families from being able to participate. We make a strong effort really to reach out to our ELL families who might not know about programs like this through programming that happens during the school year where we promote the STEAM UP camp and we actually have quite a bit of response now as a result. We also want our special education students to feel very comfortable in a space like this. It really gives kids um, uh, uh, that fail first mentality first attempt in learning is a good thing and these 21st century skills are absolutely uh, a requirement now. It's not a, a want, it's a need. So uh, we hope to see you at camp. Bye. Hi, 
Um, some of our responsibilities we have is keeping the campers on task and doing everything that they're supposed to do. Some of our goals as a counseling crew um, is to ease the load on the teachers with the uh, crazy amount of campers. It can be a lot for them. So we just try to take them to the bathroom and do the small things to make their jobs easier. Uh, as a counselor, what you can gain, uh, you can gain community service hours, you can gain uh, experience working with kids. Uh, as well, you can uh, become more presentable and you can gain some little information about STEM that you may not have picked up. Hi, my name is Grant and I'm a Fab Lab Ambassador. So, what it means to be a Fab Lab Ambassador is to engage in technology in the actual Fab Lab and to teach students, um, even in your own grade and grades below you and above, um, about the technology that's in the Fab Lab.